I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine, and what I love to do is make spaces look really beautiful without spending a lot of time or money. Today, we are in a corner of my bedroom, home to this intriguing slanted ceiling. I've always wanted to create a gallery wall in my home, and now that I've redone my bookshelves, I'd like to create a relaxing reading nook, complete with plenty of eye-catching wall art. I already had a lot of the accessories and art to outfit this corner, so I spent under $300. It's just about curating what you already have around your home. The key to creating a great gallery wall is plenty of planning. First, I took stock of the art I already had and then perused one of my favorite wall art websites, Minted. Minted is a great place for affordable art. There's many different sizes, so many different prints, and they come framed or unframed. Then the fun part. I tested out different combinations of art to see which pieces matched well. Once you've got your winning combo, take some craft paper and cut out pieces the size of each print and stick them up so you can see exactly what it will look like before you start putting holes in the walls. Painter's tape will allow you to move the paper around freely until you're happy with the layout. Now it's time to hang the art. I had a lot of small pieces of art in all white frames which gives the wall a clean look. These bigger prints I've purchased from Minted and in my opinion a mix of photography, illustrations and typography make for the best looking gallery walls. Want a more budget friendly option? You can use frames you already have around the house. This cute paper cost me $15 from Minted and comes in sheets of five. I also love framing pretty greeting cards which is another great budget friendly art option. Not all art has to be framed. I love this clock from EQ3 because it stands out against the art. I'm also hanging this cool cloud from Indigo which looks like a piece of wall art and doubles as a cozy light for ambiance. To complete my nook, I'm adding in accessories from around my home. A sheepskin rug, my favorite reading chair from Wayfair, a cozy blanket, and these awesome floor cushions from HomeSense. The couch throw cushions also work. The last touch is a Scandi inspired floor lamp from Ikea. And there you have it, a completely transformed alcove in under $300. If you liked any of the products or art mentioned in this video, they'll all be linked in the description box below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and comment if you have any questions. See you next time.